live very soon, sir. Just a moment. It's it started, I think, so far. It, it should be starting very soon. Yeah, it is setting it up. Yes. I'll also keep an eye on the chat box. So if there are any questions, I'm very soon, sir. Yeah, if there are any questions, we can start answering them. Yeah, please do let us know, sir. We can get started with uh, Kritika, yes, madam. Sir. Yeah, we welcome uh, IGL uh, for this uh, wonderful uh, association. We have uh, industrial planning cell in association with uh, Instagram Live Private Limited. That's shortly called IGL. Roadmap to the paid internship, that is Typhon projects. Start from uh, third year, till the end of the academic and the last two semesters they'll be doing the live projects it is a wonderful opportunity for our students to enroll and get experience of the live projects and uh, while learning they will be earnings will be there so it is a wonderful projects and it will be started on offline in the third floor in iot lab in anna block okay i'll thank all the executives so, staff members and uh, placement coordinators and students uh, uh, from Dr. MJ Education Research Institute. I welcome Mr. Krishna Kumar, the uh, Director of Instagram Live Private Limited, and Kritika, ma'am. Thank you. Welcome, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you for that nice introduction and welcome. We are really excited to be part of our orientation. Uh, Kritika, madam, could you please come on the stage and, uh, and welcome uh, our chief guest? Please go ahead. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you, Balakrishnan, sir. Yes. So, good afternoon, all. And first of all, I would like to sincerely thank uh, President Mr. Arun Kumar for this wonderful opportunity. And uh, Madam Shubhastri's genuine support from day one helped us to be here. And a heartfelt thanks to Madam Shubhastri for introducing us to Dr. Balakrishnan, sir. Our sincere thanks to Balakrishnan, sir, for taking our engagement to the next level. Our heartfelt thanks to Petirat, sir, and other HODs for your guidance. And you're helping us to, you know, to help the students even better. Thank you so much. So actually our main motive is to and experience to the college students what an employee from IT organization is having. When you pass out of college, you will be considered as an experienced candidate, not as a fresher, because of the projects what you are going to do with us. This is the biggest boom for any student. Because in IT industry, start is the challenge. So once you are into the industry, opportunities are abandoned. Last two years, we have trained many students from our college. First, we taught project-based learning course. We taught how to make a simple chatbot. And completed students had an opportunity to join for the full development course that you learned uh, uh, Mongo.db, uh, uh, Node.js, and React, everything. And based on the performance, we interviewed few students and we selected few students for our trade internship. They have successfully finished one project from two companies. One company called Ecrio from USC, the other one is from Mfluent from Dubai. We have given them a complete training and guided them completely to finish the project successfully. They got stipend for every month. It's about three months project. Now, very happy to say they are continuing their second trade internship project with us. We are really encouraged to see the performance of the second year students, not only from the technical part. Now they know how to conduct a training, how to conduct a meeting, how to address things professionally, how to work as a group, and how to make a transparent report structure. Those things are very, very important to be successful in this industry. In first just three months project, they are able to do projects in IoT, Edge, React, Mongo.db, so many, many new technologies and hot technologies what companies are extensively using now. So this kind of learning and experience will help you to be an experienced candidate when you pause up. When your, if your performance is very good, our client companies who are giving you the product will be happy to take you as an employee. We are trying our best to keep you up uh, so that the high chances will be there for you to get placed in the same company. So we need good attitude from you. Students who are seniors will be definitely benefited. So I wish everyone all the very best and please contact us for any support. Thank you so much. And once again, thanks a lot uh, from IGL to our college. Thank you so much. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, Kritika, madam, for that wonderful introduction and welcome. Uh, 
on 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 our behalf, all the college staff, uh, president as well as all the college staff, uh, Balakrishna Association, Madam Ethira Sir, and all the HOD Madam Sirs that we have met in in person in some some time in the past. So what we will do is we will have a very short uh, presentation. Uh, we will quickly walk you through. Mr. Um, Wasser, one, I I need one support from your side. Please mute sure. IAPC MGR is there, right? As a host. So that we can mute them uh, who have uh, been there, unmute your, uh, we can unmute, uh, unmute candidates, some candidates are unmute. We can mute them. You can make that uh, IAPC as a co-host. So that sure. we let me do that. Let me do that. Let me do that, sir. ICSM. Yep, I've done that. Uh, Ma'am, sir, am I audible? Yes. Yeah, thank you, sir. Thank you so much. So, uh, and I would like to invite uh, uh, college uh, uh, staff like Shubhashree Ma'am or any HODs will be happy to hear from you. Hello? Yeah, basically, this is the time for uh, college staff, uh, star, anybody who would like to say a few words about the program before we get... Oh, they will be giving the feedback, sir. So after you have been uh, just presented, they, they know they can ah. because most of them are new to this. Got so it. So you please start presenting. After this, they will give the feedbacks and suggestions and any clarification or need to be done by from your sides. Sounds good, sir. Okay, so sir. Let's, yeah, let's get started with the presentation then. Okay, it's coming right up. Okay, so just a quick background and the overview. Uh, we all know the technology is ubiquitous. That is, I think, uh, some of the conversation we had with um, with great professors of our college. Sir. So, are you so, able to hear? Sir, actually in YouTube, uh, there is nothing streaming, sir. Where are students, sir? No, it is streaming. I can see it from here. No, sir. We will try. few students they placed in the it is streaming I, I just verified it right now please check excuse me sir uh, even our yes. students have uh, reported that uh, there is no live streaming uh, Krishna, sir, once again you please post it and uh, uh, actually please request to post the, the link which is recently forwarded by Krishna Mahasar. please post yeah, it in chat box sir. Yeah, let me I request that. all the HODs to be post this link uh, which is uh, be posted by Krishna Mahasar. So that there will not be any disturbance uh, for the students to use uh, get here from the YouTube. Yes, I'm showing the the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. So we need good. Yeah, it's live stream only. Correct? Yeah, it is live streaming. So please, I think there are students here. Please, as you can see, uh, there are students who are uh, here at the meeting. Uh, yes, yes. Yeah. So please share oh. that. I've yeah. shared the uh, in the chat window. I've shared the link. I'll I'll do it again in the Zoom window. Please uh, share this link. Okay. Sir, this link is not working, sir. Amit, you please check it. Uh, students are already there. Now, now I'm on YouTube only. Okay. I just showed the UTM stream window uh, in, in, in the Zoom as well. So it is, it is working, sir. Uh, uh, Shall we proceed? Okay, so let's proceed. I think I think please keep keep trying. I think sometimes your connection may be an issue, but we can confirm that it is getting streamed on on YouTube and students are watching there. I can see the the messages. Uh, good morning and so on. Okay, so just a quick background. Uh, I think as I was saying, uh, technology is ubiquitous and interdisciplinary is the key. Uh, this is the reason why we are expanding the paid internship uh, stipend based projects to all the students of our college. Uh, so just not for computer science students only. And we also know that advanced technologies is, 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 rap, is going at a rapid pace, right? So I think as uh, Balkishans had indicated, institute and industry collaboration is essential 
and it's a win win for everybody this is the reason why we signed an mou we want to make sure that together with uh, with institute and um, and igl we want to help the students as much as possible and uh, first stepping stone is a project based learning uh, so this is all about doing some hands on work in addition to doing the the regular course work to do uh, projects in in software uh, mainly on on online so that way they can also try out some of the technique that they learned in the course work in, in the form of a project so we have done that successfully on the first year and we believe that um, uh, we have a proven process so hope we will we will we'll use that for for other students as well and uh, our philosophy is to start the pbl early uh, rather than waiting for the last year you know university project that is usually needed to complete the degree requirement we uh, recommend the students to start as, as early as you know even first year second year third year start doing mini projects it doesn't have to be a very complex project it can be a very simple project at least something that they can make it work and show it to people that uh, they have learned a programming language or they have learned a new technique they have learned about a new device showing that and doing that as a project is what we believe is going to be uh, very essential for especially the modern students uh, they, as they are now getting into the technology uh, so if they start doing let's say three or four company sponsored projects in their second year or third year we can clearly see that the final year time uh, they'll not be so afraid of the final year projects that's number one because they'll be used to doing the projects number two uh, they'll be in a better position to pick a better project because they would have already completed some of the basic essentials in the second and third year so this is what we we would like to promote and uh, so this is what we started with the first year and now we would like to continue for second year third year students as well and also it will help them better place in in colleges in in in, in for higher studies or for in companies because they would have done many many projects rather than one project at the end of their final year so i think we 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 strongly believe in that and one of the things that we also realize that you know as uh, scientists and engineers it is important to have a very good technical knowledge absolutely no question but soft skills are also equally important uh, because we live in a modern connected world uh, communication skills presentation skills you know uh, how do you express uh, what you uh, what your ideas are how do you write a good report how do you uh, make a good presentation how do you present it to people a lot of those soft skills are going to be very important as well so as part of our uh, training program you will see in a second uh, we not only uh, train you on on technical uh, knowledge but also on soft skills as well so you can leverage Uh, some of those uh, services available uh, from us so so that's what um, so all of the above is covered in our uh, what we call as the technology excellence uh, center uh, thanks to balkrishnan sir and 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 all the staff members who had uh, kindly you know helped us to 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 set that up and uh, so that's what we 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 intend to do for the, for the next um, uh, coming months and years so that's a quick overview and background the second this uh, this slide talks about as a student how do you go through right today for example we are having our orientation so we'll have a registration form we will share that both in uh, youtube link as well as in the zoom link uh, a registration form so basically uh, uh, interested student can register all student from all disciplines are eligible like i mentioned some of our projects are interdisciplinary uh, so we encourage all the students to to register and uh, we conduct an assessment test and the assessment test will will evaluate you for you know your uh, computer uh, programming ability or usage ability whatever projects you have done in the past so we would ask you a bunch of questions as well as some tests so if the students pass the test they enter into a training phase uh, so this is uh, this is where we will train them on uh, some of the latest technologies like edge computing sensors and iot frameworks and so on that usually takes about 3 to 6 months if uh, if the student does not pass thanks to etras sir you, you gave a wonderful idea about you know conducting a coaching session so what we will do is we will coach uh, students uh, the only request set is they need to have uh, uh, access to a windows laptop and uh, maybe familiarity with one programming language even that is not a hard requirement so we basically coach them on python programming javascript programming these are two popular leading programming languages of the web right so we we would uh, teach you on that on that front and then we also give you projects on messaging and chatbots and then how do you develop a full stack uh, development how do you develop a front end back end some basic concepts of uh, web development as well as some programming knowledge and some messaging uh, software is what we, what we would introduce so this typically happens all online so any student that has a connectivity uh, to a laptop uh, onto the internet can come in 
we share lecture videos we share lecture presentation we conduct um, you know frequent uh, google meet sessions uh, where students can bring in their problems so this is a very important phase uh, where even if you don't know anything about the programming language they, you can come in learn about it learn with us and learn with your uh, fellow students as well and complete uh, your coaching phase then go back and take the assessment again so if you pass assessment then you go into a training phase in the training phase is where we will be like uh, balakrishna talked about we have an iot lab set up uh, we can set you up with uh, with the devices you can do some interdisciplinary project whether you are monitoring a fan or a, uh, or, a, or a video control device whatever uh, of your choice uh, we have a number of projects that we can expose you to once you complete the training uh, then there will be a second assessment test to make sure that you are ready for the uh, internship uh, sir sorry to interrupt you sorry yes. to interrupt you. please continue sir the uh, dean and team uh, mr professor itraj wants to join he yes. is joining in like uh, may kirti some uh, uh, user name uh, okay. somebody i think you you thought he is a student so he has been okay. removed by him so when sure. he, i request him to join again please allow okay. him to join absolutely sir let me do Thank that absolutely sir uh, let me see um let me take a look at the participants i did not see any no if he's joined he accepts so you continue on it if he join if the request is let you then you accept it please no problem sir thank you thank you sorry about that sir it's difficult to find who is the student who is the staff sorry about that so yeah please we will we will definitely allow it sir so yeah basically the second assessment test uh basically allows us um, uh, as, as uh, both from the college as from igl to make sure that you are coached properly on all the programming language and techniques you have done some training projects in our in our college now you pass the test uh, then now you are ready for uh, paid internship projects so this is what uh, we will um, we will have the companies from uh, from us uk and uae and india uh, so we are partnering with them uh, so they would be giving us their requirement in some in terms of what the technology that they are looking for so we will match the the the, the training project that you have done and completed and the company's requirements and then if they if they like you they can place you in uh, in student internship projects and along the way uh, i think thanks to uh, balakrishna sir and all the head of the department um, uh, staff that we have had discussions with uh, we came up in our mou that there is great opportunity for students to present papers for example in all of this uh, world whether it is in training or coaching let's say you come up with a, a nice idea and you want to uh, protect it with patents or you want to present it in in conferences this is a great opportunity i mean this is uh, i mean these days students who are in, in undergrad uh, they are so bright you know they can they can come up with uh, their own ideas and then present them we should encourage them uh, so so opportunity for for student to present papers in international conferences and journals patents and placement so so some for for example the three students or first student that we will talk about in a minute uh, they are doing so well and some of the companies are saying hey can we get more call, more student from from uh, dr mj education this is institute so i think uh, there is definitely a lot of opportunity uh, for students uh, like you to to go through this place uh, phase and and be ready to to start working with real uh, companies uh, very early on in in second year third year Uh, so that way if they like you after the end of the fourth year you don't have to you know uh, go for look for a job they can absorb you uh, those are all opportunities that uh, that that is uh, that is available to you but everything starts with uh, registration so we we highly recommend all of you to please register and then uh, wait for further instructions on all the on all the steps but this is just a overview of what um, uh, what we are planning to offer okay so we will uh, move on to the next uh, uh, phase of our orientation of course we will take the questions on on youtube uh, live as per the agenda what we will do is we'll get some feedback from uh, from igl members and their experience and then play uh, some video clips of uh, current um, internship students and their experience with uh, with the with the projects and how they are enjoying their their, uh, their paid internship projects so we will we will do that uh, so maybe rajesh kumar sir uh, do you have a few minutes thank you to Thank you so much, Krishna Kumar sir. It's a wonderful presentation. Now I'm sure students will be having a great idea about our paid internship projects. Thank you so much. And I request uh, our IGL members to come and share your experience uh, with the students in technology and soft skills. I request uh, Mr. Rajesh to come forward. Yeah, uh, Rajesh Kumar here. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, thanks for this opportunity, IGL team and uh, MGR University team. Yes, I think. Uh, Project-based learning itself is a is a great thing happening for uh, 
both uh, the MGR University. So what 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 we believe is learning is not complete uh, just by uh, understanding the concepts, but it is complete when we, only when we apply what we have learned in the real life. So this is where uh, the IGL comes with this project-based learning. And, uh, and what is quite unique is the industry experts. So here we have around uh, 10 to 15 years of uh, experience uh, people who are trying to handhold you and trying to make you understand to solve the real world problems actually. So this, this opportunity does not come to anyone that easily as a fresher when you get into, a, get into an institute. Uh, the, the exposure you get is quite minimal, but here with the project-based learning, you're directly being given a problem to solve with the, with the, with the knowledge that you're, with the skills that you're acquiring actually. So that is, that is, that, that is something very unique and uh, this is a, it's a big opportunity to the students. And uh, I, think, uh, uh, I think both IGL and uh, MGR University have thought, thought forward and they're, they're giving this opportunity to the students. It's, it's quite amazing. So, so, so the one more main thing, what I want to highlight is the collaboration that happens with the industry experts and with the students and with the staff members, the discussions that happen and the decisions that you make based on, the, based on these discussions, right? So these are all trying to groom a person in the, in the real world scenario as, as a professional. So you, 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 uh, what, what, you, what, what internally happens is you're trying to become an architect, actually trying to find out the solutions uh, by, by learning and then by applying it. So this is something quite unique, which is which is coming to the student community, and uh, I, I 100 percentage vouch for this and uh, and try to grab this opportunity so that uh, you all succeed in life. Uh, and uh, I, I think as uh, Krishna Mars has said, there are a lot of uh, students who have benefited and who are in the industries. They're doing quite well, and the industry people are looking forward to such students uh, through these opportunities. Actually, thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much, Rajesh, sir. And uh, Mr. Uh, Srikesh, can you come forward and say a few words? Thank you, ma'am. So I know that uh, I don't have much time. I'll take uh, much of your time. So one thing uh, which is very unique about this project is that uh, the main uh, thing that the student faces uh, is that uh, once you get out of the college, uh, there is always a gap between the industry and whatever you have learned. Uh, most of the time we suffer uh, how to apply what we have learned. So all these ans uh, all the answer to the this question has been solved in this hands-on project. Once you join this project, uh, we have we have seen uh, many students, uh, especially your seniors from India College, who have completed uh, our projects and also the internship programs. So uh, do ask them how, how their experience is. Uh, one thing uh, you get an experience on how to face a problem and how how to apply the technology that you learn and. Uh, what kind of atmosphere is in an industry and how, like you get an idea about where you're going to work and how the work is going to be. Uh, this is uh, what you learn primarily on this thing. And uh, you'll know more about once you register and, and, and join uh, this particular internship program as well as the courses. Uh, I, I welcome you all on behalf of IGL and, and thank you uh, for MGS staff for adding me to this one. Uh, thank you everyone. I think I'm back to you, man. Thank you, Mr. Srikesh. And Mr. Gopal, can you come forward, come forward and say a few words? Yeah, sure. Thank you, madam. Am I audible? Yes, we can hear it. Okay, fine. Yeah, thank you. So first of all, hi. Hi, all. Thanks for joining this meeting. Uh, thanks to thanks to IGL and thanks to India College for this wonderful opportunity, actually. So myself is Gopal here. So I'm being part of the IGL for the last three years, and um, I can really see how the ideas, of our, how our ideas got flourished, and in the case of education, and where we are reached on our mission to serve the education communities. So we've been offering uh, the colleges uh, a lot of uh, technical technical projects based on AIML, IoT, chatbots, and web apps. So we have worked with the students in Google Classrooms and helped them to complete the project and give certificates. So we are we are actually making the students understand how the real world works, what the industry wants, and how the industry is working, what kind of software they're using, what kind of uh, projects that they're into. So we, give, we, give, we are giving them a clear idea on uh, after getting out of college, you are into this, so you can have a clear idea about what where you're going. So and uh, on the on the project completions of IGL, we also provide them certificates and kind of stuff, so they they can have a clear clear view on what they've completed with IGL. And uh, more than that, uh, this is uh, this is a new generation, this is a new world which 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 should have a lot of clear ideas on how the communication should be done. So we also offer soft skills on IGL Super Presenter. It's a course which uh, makes sure that everybody is a super person. Everybody should be a super presenter. Actually, how to present something, how to write, how to read, how to pronounce, and we, we make sure that every student is fit for this new world and new workforce. 
and uh, we also make sure that the process of learning is always enjoyable enjoyable and exciting with igl and the igl always to make sure to provide you the best from our side for you so that you can make uh, use of our services and and for to build up a new uh, a new community for the future and for tomorrow and uh, that's all make sure make you make sure to use of those uh, services and uh, grab this opportunity and i uh, welcome you all on behalf we are we have a five year so yeah that's all thank you sir thank you so much for the opportunity yeah thank you thank mr you gopal yeah. thank you thank you mr gopal and uh, raksha can you please say few words uh sure kritika madam am i audible yes you are yeah thank you so hi um students and uh, mgr college uh, staffs and uh, uh, deans um, uh, and the hod uh, i am raksha and i am the mentor for the uh, pbl projects um i used to conduct this program through uh, google classroom we we we, uh, we make sure we send the instructions and video recordings through it uh, the students have to watch the recording as per our instructions and complete their assignments through google classroom they can also communicate with us if they are in need of any clarification or technical assistance in the gcr and we used to conduct a separate uh, google or a zoom meet uh, if they have any real time issues uh, to fix uh, their uh, problem in the computer um, then uh, every session of the assignment we uh, try to grade and uh, return their assignment in the gcr itself to complete the project each student has to prepare a project presentation and project report uh, and a video recording of, the, of their own project uh i took lead for the summer uh, 2020 2021 uh, batches and we completed uh, the program successfully and um, you uh, the students can check with uh, your colleagues they are already in um, uh, uh, so many projects and they are still continuing their uh, 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 projects uh, with ecrio and other companies um i'm i feel very happy to be a part of this program by helping students through google meet and evaluating their assignments through google classroom i want to appreciate and encourage all the students who join in today's orientation program this will be a good learning platform for new technology like uh, chatbot full stack development program and i would like you all to make use of this opportunity and learn pbl projects with your curriculum make use uh, and make use of your extra time with pbl projects uh and i'm sure you can complete the project with your regular schedule uh, the only thing what you need is the interest create time and uh, you know spend more time uh, involve yourself to finish the project and uh, you know go as per our instructions um given to you um uh, i am happy that igl is giving this extended opportunity to the students through these courses and internship i am sure students will make use of this wonderful chance during the g meet i get to use to talk uh, with the students mm, and i realize some students were unsure that they why they were doing this pbl project if they get into sign up and get uh, um, register themselves to the project and do their internship program i'm sure uh, the uh, question what they used to ask me um, they will get the answer for it of course you can add this experience in your resume and uh, you will be able to face the techy world um and uh, how fast it goes and uh, how reachable we are and uh, whatever the um um uh, you know uh, the real world uh, it industry they are looking for um the fresh year students with uh, hands on experience so we are here to help you and support you with our great team and with our um, uh, kk sirs uh, krishna kumar sirs um, uh instruction will be uh, able to do this and uh, make this as a wonderful program uh, thank you all once again and good luck to everyone thank you thank you raksha thank you so much and next thank you. we are very happy to share the video of uh, our interns where uh, they are sharing uh, their experience and the journey with igl the students who are currently doing internship with us thank you thank you kritika i think we have heard um, uh, my presentation as well as uh, some uh, some uh, inspirational as well as the, the real life experiences from some of our members that is wonderful so now let's hear from some of the students right i think uh, great students from our in great institute uh, four of them they started out in their first year 
and uh, let's play a, a short clip from each one of them. Uh, they're great students. They will love it. So, so I'll play uh, each one of them. Uh, so please bear with me. It's a, it's a short uh, one minute video, but I think it hopefully will be very inspiring, motivating to to students uh, who are uh, who are looking to see what uh, what this particular program is going to offer them. I think these are testimonials uh, from from them directly. Uh, so let me play some of them. Uh, it's coming up. Just a moment. Hello, my name is Radesh Sharma. Currently, I'm doing my B.Tech Computer Science and Engineering from Dr. MGR Educational and Research Institute. And I'm from Jammu and Kashmir, India. I got an opportunity from my college to be enrolled in IGL's course. First course was Jadbot course and JavaScript. I learned the JavaScript and learned about how I can integrate a chatbot with Facebook. Later, I enrolled in a second program and that was of full stack web de development. I learned three technologies here. First is Node.js, second is React.js for the front end, and the third one is a database, uh, which is a MongoDB. After that, this I uh, go through an interview process and select for the paid internship program. And I selected for Acrios paid internship program, and that was for the project IoT. So basically, we work in a team, a very good team. Uh, there was a team of five students and uh, we are uh, we instructed uh, through very good instructors like uh, two are the instructors are available there one is hari and second one is satish they instruct about iot first us uh, in first month we learn about iot and new technologies integrated with iot how we can work with iot what is azure the services like azure what are the services of azure how does iot hub work and what is docker and other uh, things later uh, in second we started our uh, process to connect our iot uh, device with the facebook so facebook chatbot uh, so users can get the data from iot sensors directly to the facebook chatbot and later uh, we in the third uh, month uh, we execute the things uh, very well uh, we learn many things here uh, we learn a teamwork uh, here and with the very good teamwork uh, at, at the end of third uh, month uh, we execute this plan and till the completion of the fourth month we completed this project we use many technologies in this uh, project like mqtt uh, iot device virtual machine uh, docker vs code some extensions of vs code and it was a very great opportunity for me to learn this new technology with a very good instructor like hari and satish that was a really awesome experience with in this experience uh, in this uh, internship i hope i will get more opportunities like this and i will be ready uh, for uh, these type of opportunities this type of opportunities can teach us more uh, than just a learning this way of learning is very great thank you Wonderful. That is a great um, uh, video from from Radesh uh, Sharma. is one of our great uh, students. So let me play a few other students from the, from the same group. Uh, this is this one is from from Jason. Just a moment. Hello everyone. I am Jason from MGR Educational and Research Institute, Mechanical Department. And this is my short feedback video on IGL programs that I have participated so far. So my so my first project with the IGL was a, a FB chatbot, um, where we worked on a basic cha chatbot with uh, um, using Node.js and uh, and Grok. Then we did an FSK project where we learned an out outline of full stack development using fairly recent technologies like ReactJS, uh, MongoDB, and uh, Node.js. Then we got into an uh, internship project um, where we developed a web application. To begin with, the internship, pro internship project was quite a bit complex at the beginning. Then with time, we, ca we learned a lot of things um, and how to develop a uh, front-end and complex back-end modules. And I, I think the most important thing that I have learned from this pro internship project was the basically we got an uh, outline basically we got a glimpse on how actual uh, company projects work uh, like from status meetings to internal meetings and project diary then then we have to separate our, the work between our team members 
uh, i think the, uh, this experience is going to be quite use, useful for my future projects uh, and i also should thank uh, gokul sir and ck sir for their support throughout the project then uh, and then i thank uh, everyone in igl and uh, especially krishna kumar sir for giving us all these opportunities uh, even even now we are uh, in, involved in an uh, hands on ai ml project based on python and also we are taking a turn on uh, ec department where we are uh, currently working on an iot edge device uh, yeah, edge device deployment and i think it's going to be a good experience to uh, working with the team on in the I- iot project and uh, and uh, once again i'm thanking all for giving us these opportunities thank you thank you jason i think you would have probably heard a very honest uh, feedback from from jason uh, it was it was not an easy one but they worked really hard to make sure that uh, they solve all the problems i think one of the things that he pointed out is an important one the teamwork and then making sure that you communicate well and understand the problems solve problems these are all essential for the next generation engineers so i think uh, great job uh, jason for giving that that feedback uh, next we have two more and then we will uh, wrap up i just invite uh, invite all the hods uh, hod ec is there triple e uh, ma'am and uh, other thing uh, geeta ma'am is there i think so if not hod is not there i think uh, uh, deputy hods are there one by one can have a, just share your thought process any updated or anything to be updated in the during this training course program you can start uh, krishna ma'am sir can note make note of it so that yes, if, if, if feasibility is there he can implement in this during absolutely sir so yes. we are more than welcome to hear feedback from from our wonderful yes. hod yes. and staff yeah please go ahead uh, students who are in live uh, youtube please you can uh, if any doubt to be clarified uh, through the uh, this uh, program uh, krishma sir is there so you can uh, put forth your uh, thought process in the chat box so that he can uh, reply to your uh, questions which is there in the youtube the faculties were there in zoom you can unmute yourself you can interact with them faculties and deans who are there kritika ma'am please note any there any queries is there in the youtube is yes, yeah. actually uh this the session we can have it for question and answers as you said uh, from the uh, hod is also uh, we are very happy to get uh, any kind of you know feedback or uh, any questions also we are really happy to clarify and i really encourage students to post their queries in their youtube live chat window so we will able to give the uh, response immediately to you now yes balkrishna sir i am also watching the um, the youtube uh, live streams to see if there are any questions from the students i'll also ask them if they have any questions from for us we'll wait for another 5 minutes sir if no one uh, respond to that uh, we can conclude it and we'll disclose the test date on an assessment date for the second year and third year sounds good sir i have also posted the registration link the students can also register ah great 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 question that is igl recruits biotechnology students yes great question um, binisha uh, sentil vel uh, one of the one of the uh, in fact two of the uh, intern students are from biotech uh, so yes uh, like i mentioned in the beginning of the orientation uh, this opportunity is for all engineering students um, so whether you are in mechanical biotech electrical uh, any any discipline is fine because we believe technology is now Uh, kind of involved in all the disciplines so we believe in fact interdisciplinary uh, is going to be how the future is going to be in terms of all the next generation services and research uh, so we are we would love to see uh, biotech students and computer science students working together and and and, and solve problems uh, create uh, you know different type of um, solution that are not possible by only computer science students um, so yeah we do encourage uh, biotech students to to join us great question yeah please post any other question on on what we have shared sir this is jayalakshmi hod ec department go ahead madam 
uh, sir uh, thank you for uh, giving a clarity on the road map of what is going to go through throughout this uh, training period and uh, the internship that they are going to take over sir uh, i need some clarity regarding the prerequisite of uh, taking up the train sure so so for the uh, for the trainee the for entering into the training program uh, one should have passed through an assessment test that we will conduct basically if they have done some projects already if they have done some programming course already if they have enough background to do the projects uh, in in iot and edge computing that will be the prerequisite the prerequisite for entering into the coaching phase where uh, they have uh, they have not learned any programming language the only prerequisite is they need to have a computer with an internet connectivity uh, so that's all they need we will teach them python programming javascript programming and we'll have them do some basic projects that require um, you know connecting to uh, front end back end and all the software related projects so so the prerequisite are different for the the coaching phase versus the training phase man so coaching phase is lot simpler uh, all you need is to is to have uh, access to a computer with an internet because all the uh coaching will be done online the training is after you pass the assessment test uh then the, you should have done some programming in the past and you should have done some uh, project work in the past then you are qualified for for training does that help madam yes sir yes. so initially there will be an assessment uh, if he, he has got some knowledge already with respect to some projects uh, he can directly go through the training otherwise exactly. he has to go, take up the coaching and uh, he'll continue with another he has to take up another assessment test exactly madam exactly madam exactly, okay. exactly. so basically we want to accommodate as many students as possible so the first assessment will tell us how many of them are ready to do in a real training project uh, so they are then people who did not pass that we'll we'll put them through the coaching phase where we'll teach them the, the basics and then they will come back and take the, the assessment again and then when they are ready for that they'll do the training at the end of the training there will be an assessment that's when we will introduce them to the companies so the registrations are open now right sir yes yes madam i have posted and it on until yeah. uh, when the students can register i think uh, we can decide madam maybe we can keep it for for a week so balkrishnan sir what what do you think is that a reasonable time for uh, to give uh, a week for students to register for well, regarding uh, yes sir we can keep some dates no problem at all we'll right. extend so, dates madam yeah so we'll see how the so so madam i have posted it in um, uh, in uh, in youtube uh, we'll also yeah. post yes. and we have also shared with students no yes. we we'll uh, ma'am uh, uh, jalesh ma'am anyway you will be getting a mail from uh, iapc ma'am from, uh, okay. from okay. regarding registration so okay. after that you can pass to the students because uh, okay. we are going to pass to all the departments including non certified students also so we'll you'll be getting mail from uh, that uh, iapc very soon after this uh, after this uh, meeting so then you can pass to the students who are interested in second and third year irrespective of their uh, uh, mark credential so mark credential is mandatory for registration say it again sir say it again sir mark credential that is academic performance very important for it students who uh, are not not percentage not, not not necessarily sir i think i think if they have um, um if they have good uh, uh, interest in in computer the, the basic understanding of the basic uh, computer usage is what we look for in the coaching phase yeah. uh, so marks may not be uh, may not be but uh, it be also yeah. good to hear your feedback as well if you think mark will be a criteria we can include that sir we have no problem yeah. that is sir we we'll keep some criteria for sure also we'll discuss that with okay. the hod uh, just get a feed off from the concerns hod is from all the ent hod is then i'll revert back to you also because this Definitely. is a quick, uh, both stipend pay and yes. training is also not free of cost that is i want to inform to you for fourth year training will be during the uh, uh, that is from uh, third semester onwards training will start stipend will start from fifth uh, fifth or sixth sir yes which semester uh, stipend will start i think as soon as they complete the uh, the the training uh, so yeah, that is you, do you have any period for it any uh, uh, no i think even if they are in second year third year if they complete oh, the as soon as yeah as soon as, as Yeah. Yeah. as soon as they complete the training sir yeah so i just made a clarity to you during a training you have to pay a minimum cost for the training after the completion of the training you don't want to pay and but you'll be start getting a stipend from igl okay this i want to inform to you all the students and i'm informed with hod is also i'll uh, regarding the training cost i'll revert back to you all uh, with after discussing with concern hod's of ant
Uh, regarding the link, Kritika, ma'am, I'm requesting you to share some short uh, write-up along with the link so that it's easier for students to uh, clear clarity about this uh, training program and it's easier for them to register it also. So you just give some write-up along with the link. Sure, sir. We'll do. Yes. Definitely will do. Thank okay. you. Thank you, Jailish ma'am. Put forth your thought process. Uh, Great. About, yeah, yes. Bhuvaneshri ma'am and other HODs, please. Yeah, please, please, please offer uh, your... Mr. ma'am, you can also... Uh, uh, we don't want limits only first year. So, Mr. ma'am, you can also have some... If anything you want to share, uh, thought process, you can discuss. Sure, sir, sure, sir. Uh, so, uh, so uh, thank you for giving me an opportunity. And... Uh, before giving my opinion, I would like to thank our management, our uh, president sir and uh, Bala sir for taking uh, this initiative to the next level. So as uh, everybody knows, the initiative was done uh, two years back in the first year. Initially, we had four students only due to the pandemic. And uh, during the year 2021, I think uh, many students uh, took this course and uh, the result is what we saw uh, just now saw through videos, right? So I really appreciate the students, uh, especially Radesh, Jason and all. They were really very active. And uh, we were very fortunate enough to have the IGL uh, team along with uh, Mr. Krishna Kumar to help the students. And uh, really a heartfelt thanks to our Dean Placement and IAPC because when I took uh, this one, uh, this uh, proposal to him, he immediately accepted and he told this can be taken to the second, third and final year. So I request that the HODs can um, uh, enlighten the students and uh, make use of the opportunity as much as possible so that we can make our students as skilled engineers. So thank you once again for the opportunity given. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you thank so you. much. Thank you, Subhashtri, ma'am. And I, I just, during uh, uh, this uh, close of meeting, I want to thank uh, HOD EC, Dailakshmi, ma'am. She said, come forward and just uh, share, uh, started to share her lab for this program because we're going to uh, utilize the uh, IoT lab, which has been allocated to EC department. And I request all the HODs because uh, this is a wonderful opportunity. The student can do their live projects and the projects can be converted to the patent and they can publish in the journals also, patent journal, research journals also, they can publish it. So it is a credential to the MGR in the department. So, uh, and moreover, I'll thank to uh, Dean ENT Etra, sir, just given an idea this why we should not take it for non engine that is a, a certain non circuit branch, non circuit branches. Okay, it's because we for LL, we're limited to circuit branches. Now take forward to the non circuit branches because most uh, some of the students from chemical and biotechnology and mechanical all are placed in IT companies with a, a, a minimum salaries of five to six lakhs per annum. So there are some students very much interested. In, uh, in, in circuit branches works also. So we are giving chance to non-circuit branch students also. Please utilize it. Yes, Krishna Ma'am, sir, you can continue. And Krishna Ma'am, you can put forth the ending points. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, Krishna Guma, sir, do we have any questions to answer or shall I proceed with uh, thanks? No, I think we'll okay. see if there are any more feedback from uh, from our HOD staff. If not, we will, um, we will, we will close. I think there are, I'm getting some questions and the uh, maybe we'll take a couple of questions uh, and then we can uh, we can try and wind it down. So I think uh, sure. some question was, you know, uh, is the training is online training or offline training? Um, so the coaching is entirely done online. Uh, so the only prerequisite is if you have a computer and with an internet connection, all of our lecture series are available as videos. So you can watch them offline. Yeah, great questions coming from the students. Um, then what kind of assessments are like a numerical, verbal, subject related yeah the assessment for the for the first assessment will be uh, primarily on on your uh, skills your uh, your programming skills and maybe your computer knowledge skills and then if you pass that you go into training if you did not pass that no problem you will be in the coaching phase where we will teach you uh, what you need to pass in those tests so yeah i think those are some of the questions uh, of course we have many more questions that is coming sir what we will do is we'll take um, all of them into a spreadsheet and, and then answer them and then send it to you, sir, Balakrishna, sir, in the interest of time. Okay, so any other uh, comments from, from our wonderful staff of our institute before we start wrapping it up with a word of thanks? Any, any sir, questions? 
Yeah, go ahead. Sir, sir, this is Boni Shwari, HOD, AAA department. So ahead, I would like to thank our management and uh, IEPC cell for uh, bringing in you uh, to provide uh, opportunity for our students to uh, improve their skill set. Uh, so I hope, I hope uh, this uh, training or internship on projects will be very helpful for their career. And uh, thank you for the wonderful sessions. Thank you. Absolutely, madam. You're more than welcome. I think you are the backbone of, uh, of what we can do. Uh, you are in the front line for, for all the students. So we need your support. So please, uh, really happy to see your, uh, your comments. I think together, our, our main objective is to help as many students as possible and raise their uh, skill set as well as, uh, you know, help our institute, great institute to do wonderful, uh, wonderful things in, in projects and research. So we are completely aligned, madam. Thank you. And we are really grateful to hear those wonderful comments from you, Mara. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, everyone. So it's the third time we are actually conducting the orientation. Uh, uh, Sindhu Jam, I have a flyer on the table. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, I was on mute. You can continue. Can I continue? Thank you. So it's the third time we are conducting the orientation with our college and our journey with you was very helpful and very interesting. And thank you so much for everything. And sincerely and wholeheartedly, I would like to thank the president and uh, Dr. Balakrishnan sir, Dean Placement IAPC, and Dr. Shubhastri Madam, Joint Registrar, and Dr. Etiraj, Dean, ENT Department, Dr. Geetha, HOD, CSC Department, Dr. Kanyavardhan, HOD, IT Department, Dr. Jayalakshmi, HOD, EC Department, and Dr. Bhuneshwari, HOD, Triple E Department, and Dr. Rajan, HOD, Mechanical Department, Dr. Jayachitra, HOD, Chemical Department, Dr. Kavita, HOD, Civil Department, Dr. Rajeshwari Hari, HOD, IBT Department, and department placement coordinator and other staff members. Thank you so much for the for, for the wonderful support and we are expecting the support forever. Thank you so much. Okay, sir. I think with that we will um, we'll conclude our orientation. And um, once again, uh, thank you for for all of your wonderful support, sir, and and, and all the madam and and all the staff. Uh, so I think we can conclude orientation, sir. Please uh, do let us know if anything else to be covered today. Thank you, sir. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Shall we conclude, sir? Well, sir, we'll get a final uh, approval from him before we close the meeting. We'll give him a minute for Balakrishnan sir to. While we are waiting, let's see if there are any other questions that we can quickly answer from our great students. Um, I know only basic of C. Can I be eligible to do internships, sir? So that is Rohit Kumar. Absolutely wonderful, Rohit Kumar. In fact, uh, C programmers are very much needed in IoT. Uh, so yeah, if you have great uh, C programming skills, uh, please uh, do join us. Uh, a lot of embedded programmers are needed in the industry for IoT. Yeah, certainly C programming knowledge will be will be wonderful. Great questions uh, coming from our students. Um, is it paid internship or stipend internship? Yeah, it's it's the same. Basically, you would be paid as a stipend, like uh, uh, Krishnas are indicated. I know only basic of Java, C, C plus plus. Can I do this internship? Absolutely. Uh, these are uh, two most popular languages. Uh, of course, we'll also teach you uh, Python and JavaScript as well. So the more languages that you know, the, the better you'll be uh, equipped with the different uh, fields. Uh, so I think you should use programming language as a tool, like a, like a, like a tool in a tool in a toolbox. So you should be able to use them very frequently and, and, and try to solve problems. So it should not be the only thing that uh, you should worry about only learning a programming language. You should learn how to solve problems and use that as a as a tool to solve problems, yeah. Okay, I think um, 
all other questions we will uh, we'll pick it up in a in a spreadsheet and then uh, share our responses with uh, with Balkrishnan sir and then hopefully that will uh, reach the students so with that we will conclude sir Uh, we can conclude it. Uh, we'll start the uh, online assessment process immediately. Very good, sir. After the registration has been added. I hope uh, registration will be increased because we circulate among all the ENT departments. Okay. I want uh, support from the HODs to circulate among the your students WhatsApp group. Thank you. Thank you for joining. Thank you, Krishna Mugha, sir. Thank you, Subhashtri, ma'am. Thank you, Kritika, ma'am. And thank you, HODs and Dean, ENT. I think he's not able to join. I just missed him because he'll be giving good feedbacks also. But anyway, I'll convey a pass message to him. First. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, sir. We'll thank start. you, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you all. Appreciate it. Thank Have a good day. Yeah, Have students, good please uh, uh, take it up seriously and utilize it and upgrade your skills. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you all. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you all, thank you all for joining. Bye. Take care. Bye. Thank you, sir.